All right, so uh, last night, it was the future. And you got to see a basketball player. If you watched ESPN2 at 10 o'clock, um, it, uh, a team in France played a, a G League team, Ignite. And then Ignite has a player who left high school, went from high school right to the G League, Scoot Henderson. And he is supposed to be, if not the top pick in next year's draft, the second, because the first is Victor Wembayama. And he is anywhere from 7'2 to 7'5, and his wingspan is eight feet. Uh, he's got skill. He's got a really, really good three point shot. He likes to play defense. He is, now he's thin, uh, but he's. He appears to be a better version than Chet Holmgren. Uh, you know, he just, you watch him play and he is a, fo- if you just said he's going to play defense, he's going to be a three-point shooter and play defense, he could be an all-star with his abilities. Now, where's he going to go and how's he going to be featured? And I've been wrong before. I thought Sean Bradley was going to change the NBA. 7-6, run the floor, handle, had a nice jump shot, didn't work out. But uh, this player is 18 years of age, and he dominated last night. Yes, Seton. Victor Wimbayana has a uh, quote talking about Scoot Henderson, and he says, if I was never born, I think he would deserve the first spot <laughs> in the draft. Yeah. These two are going to be linked now for yeah. yes. their, their entire career. It's yeah. already like sewn into the stars. And the way basketball is now, you can follow a high school player or a player overseas because of TikTok, Instagram. It's just different. Of all of the sports, you can follow somebody with a highlight reel because you can put together three minutes worth. And then you can watch that. You're not going to be doing that in baseball. You're not going to do that probably in football. But And you might do it in soccer around the world. But this, this is a player who plays in France and... They have been vying for his services since he was 10. And he says, I'm meant to do this. But if you watch the highlight, I watch for a few things. I want to see, do you really want to play defense? And he does. He takes great pride. What's your handle like? Are you just going to be standing at the three-point line? And I want to see what your shot looks like. He checked all the boxes. Now, I'd seen highlights before of him playing in Europe. And I thought, okay, post up, nice moves. Step back, uh, legitimate three-point shooter, and and he's 18. So you, we look at these players. If you said who's further along, the Greek freak or Victor Wambayama, then it would be Victor. Absolutely. Now, does he want to play? Does he want to be great like the Greek freak has become? Greek freak wanted to be great and made himself great. But this kid... Paulie goes, are you sure he's 18? I go, Paulie, I don't care if he's 25. <laughs> he's still unbelievable. Yes, Marv. This felt like, and I hate saying his name, this felt like seeing LeBron for the first time. Oh. Because, like, seeing and I, we follow Ball is Life and all these other type yeah. of uh, Instagram. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I've seen him for a couple years. And seeing him and seeing LeBron, like, oh, oh, the hype is real. It's not even hype. It's, no, he's the best. Like, he's ridiculous. It's Kevin Durant 2.0. I'm sorry. I'm putting it out there. He's ridiculous. (laughs) Marvin put it out there. Marvin Prince says. Yeah. (laughs) The headlines. Freezing cold takes in about five years. (laughs) He likes playing defense. And, you know, it's one of those you're not going to score on me taking pride like that. But imagine you're 7'2", and your wingspan is 8 feet his mom played uh, pro basketball or semi-pro basketball. I think his dad was a shot putter or something. Track and field. But he's 7'2", and he runs the floor. Let the tanking begin. Ladies and gentlemen, the Utah Jazz select Victor Wambayama. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Okay. Who's the worst team? Absolute, positively worst team. In the NBA. 
Utah's going to be really bad. I don't know if Ma- they... Magic? Yeah. But it feels like the Magic have about five guys who are 7'2". But they're not this guy. <laughs> they're not. No. <laughs> they're not. They got Mo Bamba. Um, Pauly? I have the odds from DraftKings on the, the worst teams in the NBA this year. You know, let me take a break here. I- one, one thing, though. It took me about four years per, to pronounce Adetokounmpo. Yeah. How long do I have to do Wembanyama? Wembanyama? Does yeah. that sound right? Yeah. W-E-M-B-A-N-Y-A-M-A. The French Wamba. Yes. The French Wamba. Yeah. We had the Black Mamba and we had the French Mamba. Yamba. Yama. It just sounds like we might still have to work on Adetokounmpo. <laughs> oh, I'm like 80% might need to there. take another 10 years yeah. to figure that yeah. one out. <laughs> yeah. Thank God he's got a nickname. Before the break, Paulie says, I have the odds on which team will have the number one pick and be able to select Victor Wimbayama. Yes, Paulie. By the way, the French word for tank is char. Char. Char or char. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> you know French, Dan. Well, bonjour. Comment vas-tu? Très bien, merci à toi. Char for one by Je vais très bien. Who do you guys <laughs> think, according to Vegas, who do you think is expected to be the worst team in the NBA this year? Who does Vegas think? Who does Vegas think is Nothing be personal. the worst team? The worst team. I'll give you a hint. There's a coach who talked about who, it. A coach who talked about being the worst team? Oh, oh. I got it. Yes, Eden. Your San Antonio Spurs. Ding, ding, oh. ding, 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 ding. Great clue. Okay. Our Spurs are expected to win 22 and a half games, which seems impossible. Okay, wait. Tony Parker is from France. Bonjour. We oui, focus. Tim Duncan. <laughs> no, no. Les Duncan. Uh, Les Duncan. Les Duncan. Oh, yeah. Les Duncan. <laughs> great how you don't get in trouble for making fun of the French here. Yeah. Isn't that the best? It's like the Irish. Yeah. You know? Okay. I got the other three teams. There's like there's like five teams are in play for the number one pick, odds wise. Okay. The Houston Rockets. Yep. The Indiana Pacers. Ooh. The Oklahoma City Thunder, which have about 14 draft picks in the next three I years. I know they do. The Jazz. I think the Jazz have three first round draft picks, including their own next year. Okay. And the Orlando Magic. Those are kind of the odds on favor to be awful. Okay. Now, if the Pacers make that move and they trade Buddy Heald and Miles Turner to the Lakers to get Russell Westbrook Jr. the third and two number one picks, not that they need the two number one picks if they're going to be tanking, and then you get Victor. Now, the consolation prize is Scoot Henderson, who's supposed to be a legitimate... I guess he's already making a million dollars going to the G League, but... Uh, might be the highest salary for anybody who's ever gone to uh, the G League. Yes, sort of a John Wall type. Yeah. I think Scoot, Scoot Henderson. Henderson. Yeah. yeah, yes, Paul. Sterling Scoot Henderson. I think I go by Sterling. It has a little more star power to it. Mm. Sterling Henderson. That sounds Scoot. like if you're in trouble though, and you Sterling goes, Henderson. Sterling. Oh no. <laughs> he makes a million dollars a year. He's not cleaning up his room for anybody. Scoot. I don't know. I like Scoot. Mm. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> 